How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today we're going to look at an underrated credit card called the Bank of America Cash Rewards Card. Over the last four years, I've noticed that I've been getting this credit card and canceling it after I get the initial sign up bonus. Now for 2014, 15, and 16, I got this card three times already. And recently I got it just one more time again. This card starts off as giving you $100 for $500 of spending within 90 days. And now it gets better from there and you can get up to $175 for the $500 minimum spend in 90 days. The requirements of these I'll cover on the whiteboard. Now you should know $100 on a $500 spend is pretty good, but I just got the Barclays Cash Forward card and I got $200 on a $500 spend. But that is a targeted promotion, so not everyone can just sign up for it. This card, on the other hand, you can sign up for it as long as you qualify. Now $500 spend requirement is pretty easy to meet for most people. Now for 90 days, that's only $160 every single month. If you're not able to fill up $500 by paying your bills, you can still fill up the rest of it with an Amazon gift card or you can just buy a $500 Amazon gift card and pretend you got $100 free. Now $100 is the base amount of cash back that you can get. If you're part of this preferred rewards thing from Bank of America, you need to have their checking and savings account. If you have a certain amount of money stored in their checking and savings account all combined together, this includes investment accounts. If it's over 20K, you'll get a 25% boost. If it's over 50K, you get a 50% boost. Now, if you have 100K, you're gonna get a 75% boost. Once you meet this $500 requirement in 90 days, you're gonna get $100 in rewards cash. And if you redeem this into your Bank of America checking account, you're gonna get a 25% bonus, which is $125 on that $500 spend, $150 on that $500 spend, or $175 on that $500 spent if you are part of the Platinum Honors. Now $175 is pretty good on a $500 spend. This is 35% cash back here. Even that Barclays Cash Forward card I was talking about, you get $200, which is about 40%. So it's pretty close to that. Aside from the sign up bonus, there's also categories of cash back, which is year round. They don't rotate around. You get 1% everywhere. You get 2% groceries and wholesale clubs such as Costco and stuff, and you get 3% on gas. On the surface, this sounds okay, but when you combine it with the preferred rewards thing, you can boost those percentages up to 1.25%, 1.5%, 1.75% if you're in the Platinum Honors tier, which might be pretty hard to attain for a lot of people. But if you're able to attain that, you can get a pretty good rewards. You'll note that City Double Cashback actually gets you 2% on everything. 1% when you buy something, 1% when you pay for it. Now 1.75 isn't as good, so this is pretty useless because it's 0.25% less than the City Double if you have that card. Groceries, when you boost 2% by 75%, you end up with 3.5%. People that know about the Amex Blue Cash Everyday card, the normal one, not the preferred one, gets you 3% on groceries. So 3.5% is actually better than that Amex Blue one. Lastly, you have the 3% cash back on gas. If you boost it by 75%, you actually add 5.25%. This is pretty much better than many, many different cards. Most cards only go up to 5% and a lot of cards are canceling this. It's hard to find a gas credit card that gives you 5% these days. So 5.25% is really, really good. Even if you're at the platinum tier where you have $50,000 of investable assets um, divided between investments or like you have you know a couple thousand in uh, checking and saving. If you add it all up, if it's more than 50,000, then you get five, 4.5%, which is still pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. Lastly to note is that there's a $2,500 cap per quarter on these gas groceries and wholesale categories, which means it's about $833 per month. It's a comfortable limit depending on how much you spend. I do realize that not everyone can take advantage of those preferred rewards tiers depending on how much investable assets you have. You probably have a good idea of how much you can put in Bank of America already, so you probably have a good idea if you can take advantage of these tiers or not. That's all I have for you for today. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can check out my Audible link down in the video description below and you can support my channel directly through my Patreon link over here. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below, let me know if you already have a Bank of America Cash Rewards card and don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.